Is the use of natural gas for electricity generation considered clean energy? In this video, we will talk about the formation, advantages, and disadvantages of natural gas as an energy source. Natural gas was discovered many centuries ago by peoples of Persia, Greece, and India. There was a lot of mysticism due to the fire that went out from the floor through cracks. Temples were often built around these flames and cults to gods were performed. The possibility of using natural gas was discovered by the Chinese, about 2,500 years ago, and, with the gas pipeline, they were able to evaporate the water from the sea and get the salt. In America, the first use of natural gas was for lighting the streets of the city of Baltimore, in the United States, in 1816. In 1821, it was possible to dig the first well in New York. Natural gas is found normally in nature, in deep underground reservoirs, usually associated with oil. It results from the degradation of organic matter, and through drilling, it can be removed from the earth. The formation of natural gas occurred from plant remains and animals, buried at the bottom of the oceans, and that lived between 200 and 400 million years ago. The accumulation of layers of sediment, along with the pressure and the heat of the earth would have caused the formation of natural gas and also oil. The presence of impermeable rocks would have prevented natural gas from leaking into the ocean, forming gas reserves. These reserves are finite, and if average consumption continues as in the last decade, its deposits should be exhausted in 100 years. Natural gas is less harmful to the environment than coal and oil, but its combustion contributes to the greenhouse effect. Biogas, on the other hand, is obtained through biomass, such as sugarcane bagasse, and as a renewable fuel. Biogas is less impactful, and the costs are lower. The countries with the largest reserves of natural gas on the planet are Russia, about 20%, Iran, about 17%, Qatar, about 13%, Turkmenistan, about 7%, the United States, about 7%, and China, about 4.5%. Natural gas can be used for electricity production, in thermoelectric plants, in residences, to heat water and the environment, in industrial processes, for power generation, and in the transport sector, for fuel substitution. It has in its composition a mixture of light hydrocarbons. The main gases present in natural gas are methane, with more than 70%, ethane, propane, and butane. Other components in small amounts are carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen sulfide, heavier hydrocarbons, methanol, water, and hydrochloric acid. At room temperature, it is in a gaseous state. When natural gas reacts with oxygen, in the combustion process, replacing coal and thermoelectric plants, different gases are formed and heat is released. These are the most important reactions. What are the advantages of using natural gas? The use of natural gas, as fuel, generates less environmental impact, with a lower emission of greenhouse gases when compared to other fossil fuels, being a better option for electricity generation than coal. A large part of carbon dioxide emissions, one of the causes of the greenhouse effect, originates from the burning of coal, oil, and natural gas. The use of natural gas to replace other fossil fuels causes a great decrease in carbon dioxide emissions. The emission of carbon dioxide from natural gas is about 20 to 30 percent less than oil fuel and 40 to 50 percent less than coal. Other advantages of using natural gas include the fact that it presents a lower risk of accidents, as it is easily dispersed in the air and is non-toxic. It has high energy potential, generating a lot of energy, with little energy loss. The cost is lower and the supply can be continuous, through pipelines. 
What are the disadvantages of using natural gas? The use of natural gas in thermoelectric plants will generate less environmental impacts but the plants still have polluting gases, which are released into the atmosphere, and hot water, which is released into water bodies and can harm flora and fauna and interfere with the reproduction of species. Its combustion process emits carbon dioxide, which contributes to the greenhouse effect, although less than oil and coal. Other gases generated are carbon monoxide, if combustion is not complete, and nitrogen oxides, nitrogen dioxide, and nitrous oxide. Nitrogen dioxide is one of the main components of smog, with negative effects on vegetation and human health, especially when combined with other gases, such as sulfur dioxide. Nitrous oxide contributes to the greenhouse effect and is 300 times stronger than carbon dioxide. It also contributes to the reduction of the ozone layer, which protects people against ultraviolet rays. The need for infrastructure for natural gas is greater. In addition, there is a geographic concentration of deposits, and the gas should be routed to different areas. It is a non-renewable energy source. It is important to reduce gradually the use of fossil fuels and replace them with sustainable technologies. If you liked the video, leave your like, and don't forget to subscribe.